Yeah. Welcome, and, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV. And we want to talk today because we are here on a roadshow with Gold Terra Resource and Gerald Pendleton, the chairman and CEO in St. Gallen in Switzerland. And we want to use the opportunity to get an update from the company. Gerald, welcome in St. Gallen and thanks for taking the time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, as I'm a shareholder of the company also, I appreciated your presentation yeah. today here and it really looked to me as interesting as it was last year. I think there's a lot of, uh, yeah, perspective and a lot of opportunity, especially at this low share price. And you guys just brought out a resource on your Conmine option property. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much. You know, it's always important to, uh, uh, to be there for your shareholders and show the progress. It's a measuring stick, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an option on the Conmine. We need to find at least 1.5 million ounces in all mm -hmm. categories to fulfill our requirement to purchase the Conmine. Mm -hmm. Uh, from Newmont. And uh, Newmont, of course, is very supportive. Uh, they own 4% of our share. And uh, they put a placement last year at 21 cents. So it looks pretty good to buy a share at 15 cents today. But at the end of the day, by releasing this resource, combining uh, uh, 540,000 ounces of indicated and infer on near surface south of the mine shows the potential. Mm -hmm. And even what I, I remember listening to one of our shareholders uh, last week in Denver saying that he was very happy with the progress because, you know, you, you spend money. Mm -hmm. We spent six million. Mm -hmm. We drill just under 23,000 meters drilling. Our cost was about $12 an ounce. Mm -hmm. So Which is pretty fair. Well, yeah, because you, you can find gold for you can purchase gold for 50 bucks an ounce. It depends. Mm -hmm. The job of exploration and developing a mine is de-risking the project as you move along. Mm -hmm. This first um, objective that we have is to to find too many nonsense. Mm -hmm. So we're in a good uh, in good place. At least we we have gold mm -hmm. and we know where to drill. Mm -hmm. What would be the next place to drill? Because I saw it on your map in the presentation. Uh, would you go more to the, let's say, area where you found, found it already? Or yeah. you go a little bit more to the right? No, I, I think what you see, for example, we're drilling a corridor of mm -hmm. the Campbell Shear, mm -hmm. which already has mined 13 million ounces. We're exploring south of the mine mm -hmm. for about three kilometers of strike line. Even within the 500,000 ounces plus we've delineated near surface, we still have more work to do there because there's more gold to be found near surface. Mm -hmm. But we also want to continue in the plunge of the zones. Mm -hmm. So down to maybe 1,000 meters. Mm -hmm. But we also have an excellent target at 2,000 meters. But because we have a shaft that goes down to 1,900 meters, mm -hmm. we think it's a very, very good target mm -hmm. because it's, the, it's in the core of where the 13 million ounces was mined. Mm -hmm. And it's also free milling 95% below 1,000 meters. So we don't have a we have a better metallurgy, better recovery uh, below a thousand meters, and we want to use that target because it could generate another million ounces. Mm -hmm. So Fantastic. if we find two million ounces south of the mine, mm -hmm. plus one or two below the mine, mm -hmm. it, it could be very interesting. Oh, definitely, <laughs> that sounds really good. And you could use the shafts still, right? They are in good shape. Well, <laughs> they're, they're they're flooded. Yeah. Okay, the mine is flooded. Yeah. It was decommissioning in, in two thousand and three mm -hmm. uh, when Miramar shut the mine. Newmont bought Miramar in 2008, and they've been reclaiming the property. So mm -hmm. the liability is very small. It's currently $9 million Canadian, could even be lower. Mm -hmm. There are some very good uh, value on the property, for example, a water treatment plant, a nice warehouse, and of course, all the underground infrastructure that can be reused. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at this as a very uh, good opportunity. But the threshold to say, it's a go. Mm -hmm. We buy the property. Mm -hmm. It's about 1.5 to million ounces. Okay, super. But you have also prospects, uh, not prospects, uh, projects in the north, yeah? Yeah, Which yeah, would be like yeah. satellite deposits. So well, what, our what property, would be the plan there? The, the property is about like 70 kilometers in strike line. Mm -hmm. And of which, just out of town, 20 kilometers north of town, so very close to the town of Yellowknife, uh, we have about 1.2 million ounces in four smaller deposits. Mm -hmm. The focus on those deposits is coming now from going low grade to higher grade. Mm -hmm. But one of them, which is very interesting, is right at surface. There's even a road that goes there. Mm -hmm. And it's an open pit that could be a six gram open pit. Wow. Right at surface. And of course, in the first few years, there will be almost no strip. But this, this is what we call a payback hill. Mm -hmm. Like it helps. <laughs> the payback yeah. of what you borrow to build a mine mm -hmm. because 
you look at uh, what Crest Rum could bring, and you you see, for example, like you mine like four thousand ton at six gram. It's like mining a thousand ton at twenty four gram. Mm-hmm. And if your cost is like four gram or five gram, then your benefit is about twenty gram gold. Mm-hmm. And you know, gold uh, is 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 a lot of value at uh, in these case. Mm-hmm. Like in in that type of project, to make the arithmetic very easy, one gram gold is say fifty dollars an fifty dollars mm-hmm. a. Uh, per gram, mm-hmm. and you have six gram, mm-hmm. and you know that you can do open pit mining for fifty bucks. Mm. So Beautiful. the five gram is Free. your margin. Yeah, exactly. So that's two fifty. Yeah, yeah. Per that's ton. fantastic. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, very very good. That's what I call it a payback yeah. hill. Yeah, definitely. So what is on your wish list for twenty twenty three? More drilling, nice. more drilling, and I'd like to, I like to be able to delineate as many answers as I can. Mm-hmm. And make a decision on the option on Newmont by the end of next year, mm-hmm. because I, I I think you know time is money. Uh, you don't want to be taking too much time, but we have to adapt to the market we're currently in. And I'm not going to raise what I need for next year at 15 cents. No. So we may we may raise money in two tranches, in two mm-hmm. steps. Hopefully the market. Uh, I think we will have support, but you know the the it's not going to be a big financing the first time. Mm-hmm. Okay, super. Yeah, sounds like a good game plan. What is still in the bank? Uh, over a million. Over a million. So that yeah. carries you through so far. That is That's correct. fine. Yeah. You're not under pressure. Oh, no, no, no. We're not That's under important. pressure at all. I'm super. Good. Yeah, then I would say you do it again, hopefully, because you have done three mines in your career so far. Yeah, yeah. And uh, probably you, you can do that again with Gotha. Well, uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, you have to realize that I was in the Barrick Gold School for mm-hmm. 12 years. Mm-hmm. So during my Barrick days, and of course, one of my directors from Barrick as well, Louis Young. So the two of us have been going together for 28 years. Mm-hmm. And we have a ton of respect for each other. And that's why he was there at Detour. Mm-hmm. That's why he was there at Newcastle. And mm-hmm. that's why he's with me again at Gold Terra. Mm-hmm. He brings a tons of expertise in underground mining. And, and we know, for example, what is the real threshold and reserve we need to reach. Mm-hmm. And when we see 1.5 to 2 million ounces all category, maybe it's going to end up in being 1 million ounces in reserve mm-hmm. at some point, once it's completely defined post-feasibility study. But at the end of the day, uh, you learn when you build a mine, and you know I've been involved in three of those, and the last one was a big one with Detour Gold. It's about finding answers. You create the value. Mm-hmm. About developing it, you take the risk away because it becomes a mine. And today, Detour Lake is still running very well. Yeah. And the company was sold for five billion. So exactly. Yeah. Do the same, please. Really? Thank <laughs> it you. Would be great. Well, Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I what I can do is find gold and put yeah. it in in production. Exactly. So the valuation is the market, the people. It's yeah. whatever it is. But high grade, grade is great. High grade is high grade. Definitely. Yeah. Super. Thank you very much, Gerald. All the best. And uh, yeah, make us happy. Yes. Maybe nice Christmas well, uh, presents. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, especially for next my, year, please. My, yeah, we, we want to be aggressive next yeah. year, but we have to adapt to the market we're in. Exactly. Super. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Gerald Pendleton, the CEO and Chairman of GoTower Resource. You heard it. Aggressive for next year. That's the key. And yeah, drilling a lot more and defining the resource much, much higher. So that is exactly what we want to see at 14, 15 cents. That's really a bargain. We have a first price target for the company of 50 cents. That is for sure. When things go well, I re- easily can assume also one Canadian dollar for the stock. So make your due diligence. Have a good look on the, on the company and on the stock. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from St. Gallen from Switzerland. Thank you.